Hey, come on in. Hi, Bobo. Hi. Thanks for taking time to see us today. Of course. Is this your place? Yes. I'm Bobo and today we're checking out a multi-million dollar home with multi-million dollar views. This one is connected to the Kowloon MTR station so it's super super convenient. I'm really excited to see this one uh, so without further ado don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Squarefoot for all things Hong Kong real estate and let's get started. The harbour side is located at the West Kowloon and uh, on top of the Kowloon station the Element Shopping Mall and total there are three towers and have 1,122 units together. It was built in 2003, so it's not too old, 20 years. Built by Hang Lung and the MTR, the harbour side is a 74-storey, 255-metre tall residential skyscraper in Union Square at Kowloon Station. The three towers range from 20 million Hong Kong dollars to 165 million Hong Kong dollars, so quite a large price range. Today, we're looking at a special unit in Tower 1. It's two floors below the top floor, and it has an asking price of 95.8 million Hong Kong dollars at about 57,470 Hong Kong dollars per square foot. It was actually sold within four days of being listed, and we'll talk about why further on. Designing an open kitchen and a larger dining area, this unit offers three bedrooms and three bathrooms, two of which are en suite, and two covered car parking spaces, which I was told can each fit one Rolls Royce. Coming from our foyer and past this full height shoe rack, we have over here a huge eight seater. This one is imported from Europe with a surface that resembles that of a tree slab. Underfoot is an intricately patterned rug uh, with floral detailing and be sure to maintain it regularly with a steamer. What they have done is uh, they merged two small bedrooms take out the walls, that, that is not the, the structural wall, okay? And then merge with the dining room, so that's why you can see such a bright and airy area. Off the dining is a decent sized balcony because we have a 180 degree sea view as Tower 1 directly faces Victoria Harbour, unlike Towers 2 and 3. Since this unit is south facing, you also get the most natural light, but if you're concerned about the afternoon heat, you can lower the shades. From here, you also get the best views while watching the fireworks, which you'll see as well in the living room. Stepping from the dining into the living area now, uh, what I really like about this living room is the furnishings are quite simple yet luxurious. So over here you have a plush pink three-seater directly facing your TV as well as a couple of designer armchairs, an ottoman and a coffee table. Right next to me are these uh, double herringbone wood floors uh, which create this zigzagging pattern that goes all the way down the living room uh, which creates visual interest as well as this sense of warmth. While you're savoring those beautiful views, let's step into the open kitchen. It's time to savor some food. Stepping into this kitchen now, open kitchen with lots of sleek black tones. It lends quite a simple modern touch to the space uh, and it's also finished with these top of the line appliances. But what I want to talk about are these sliding doors that open you up to the dining area so you can actually socialize with your guests while you're preparing your food. With full height handcrafted panels, these sliding doors are a very space efficient way of concealing additional storage as you have dual access to the dinnerware on these built-in glass shelves. The open kitchen is also equipped with a large seamless integrated sink, a wolf range hood, and gas and electric cooktops for Chinese cooking. Across the flat now, let's check out the biggest bedroom in this apartment. Now, as we enter the master bedroom, the walls here are finished in this dramatic matte black, uh, which really contrasts very nicely against the uh, glittering skyline that we see right outside, which you can enjoy by this long bay window. It's worth noting that all three bedrooms in this apartment are sea-facing. Now, to brighten up the interior here, two bedside pendant lights hang low from the ceiling. You also have room for a king-size bed, a large cabinet, and a built-in end-to-end wardrobe for ample storage. 
Rich velvety materials create a very warm and cozy feel, but as these materials may hold dust more easily, be sure to schedule time for regular maintenance. Now, in line with the master bedroom, here we have this huge vanity in the master bath. Uh, right over here, this backsplash is finished in these black mosaic tiles with this matching countertop. Lighting-wise, we have these wall sconces on either side, uh, as well as a round mirror for dramatic effect. This bathroom contains a unique S-shaped layout, starting with a glass toilet enclosure, sneaking around a full-size built-in tub, and ending with a large shower enclosure at the back. Given the sizes of the shower and the tub, there's a little less room for the toilet, so be aware of that when opening the doors. Nonetheless, this design is incredibly space efficient, with a full-height cabinet for you to hang your clothes. Entering the second ensuite bedroom now, this one is for the kids. Here we have a bed that directly faces Victoria Harbor, so you have quite the view to wake up to when you get up in the morning. Over here, there's definitely enough space for you to place a rug if you'd like directly under these balloon lights. And then right across this room are these end-to-end -end shelves uh, with cabinets and things where you can place your knickknacks and books. These shelves came with interactive features by providing little cubicles and cubby holes that open in different ways, so quite a creative way of encouraging childhood play. This second ensuite has a similarly fun design with an orange and yellow honeycomb backsplash. I liked that the shower bath was quite low to the floor for kids to access with ease, and we also have a simple vanity and throughout the bathroom some gold and brass fixtures to maintain a modern, sleek look. Our third and final bedroom is finished in neutral grey tones with a matching carpet. This room would make a great study, with bookshelves occupying one side of the room and a desk by the window overlooking the harbour. End-to-end -end storage takes up the other side, with a queen-size wall bed tucked away for extra space. Finally, we have a small guest bathroom conveniently located by the front door. Although the market is have a up and down, uh, especially in the Hong Kong side, we can see the price has been dropped to five years ago. But uh, I couldn't see any big changes on the Kowloon station. And uh, the recent transaction of this compound, uh, for example, Town 150A, uh, the average square foot price is 51.6K per square foot. And then uh, the other one is uh, Tower 3, 70A. Uh, the square, average square foot price is 52,000 per square foot. So now this unit is asking is uh, 57K per square foot. So you can see the price is uh, not too big difference. Eva also mentioned a listing at neighboring project The Arch, which had an asking price of around 80,000 Hong Kong dollars per square foot. So among the five developments at Kowloon Station, the harborside is actually a more reasonably priced development, especially favored by new Hong Kong residents for its location to the high-speed railway and airport. Our unit itself is also quite rare. Now, actually, in, in harborside, uh, only 72nd floor above are the special units with high ceiling and four bedrooms apartment. It's rare to have this kind of units in the market for sale. A, B units are facing to the Victoria Harbour and D, E, F is facing to the Podium Garden. So uh, in the last five years, we couldn't find a unit for sale on this upper level. It's worth noting that you can buy this flat through a company to pay less stamp duty. In terms of amenities, the Harborside Clubhouse is well equipped with facilities such as a swimming pool, gymnasium, jacuzzi, and even a karaoke room, movie theater, golf driving range, and BBQ area. This development is located above Elements, a large shopping mall for your everyday amenities. Fun fact, it contains the biggest cinema complex in Hong Kong. This mall is directly connected to the Kowloon MTR station, which is 9 minutes by train to the city center. Located in West Kowloon, you're also seven minutes by bus to M Plus and the West Kowloon Cultural District. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Squarefoot for all things Hong Kong real estate. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Bye!